My name's Bill Shaw. I'm, uh, I'm the chief power engineer here at Lampton College. The equipment in our, 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 our boiler room here is a, it's a 143 horse uh, water tube boiler. It's a training boiler. It runs an automatic. We, we give our students all the safety procedures that go along with adding the chemicals that they need to, to make proper boiler feed water, understanding how we generate steam, uh, how, the heat is, how the heat is interjected into the steam, um, how we can use it a, as a uh, a, a power source for all kinds of things from steam turbines to, to heating systems in, in plants to building heating to sterilizing uh, in, in hospitals. So, so steam has a lot of uses. If power engineers become uh, the jack of all trades, master of none. We have to know a lot about a lot of sciences. We have to know a bit about welding, a bit about construction, a bit about water treatment, a bit about chemistry so that we can call the expert in if we have trouble. But while we're here, we have to know a bit about all those things, so the, the subjects that we study are very wide-ranging. So when you arrive at work, there's someone that's been doing your job overnight. So you have what you call a relief, a handoff. You spend time with that person conversing about what happened during the night, if there's something that I need to know, and if there's something went wrong maintenance-wise that you have to get prepared or whatever for when, when you start to work. So after that's done, you head to your locker and you get all your, your coveralls, your boots, all your safety equipment on. And you normally meet your team in the lunchroom uh, along with your shift supervisor or the, the chief engineer or the shift engineer in that case. They'll talk about, uh, we'll have a little safety meeting to talk about anything that might be happening that day. Any maintenance that might be going on that day that you might have to prepare a pump for or you've got a leak someplace that you have to watch out for or, or anything unusual that would happen. After that, you, you would have what they call readings, and you would go to the area where you are with, with a sheet or, or uh, some, uh, uh, you know, like an optical pyrometer such as this, and, and you would shoot the temperature of things and you would record those, because that helps you to understand how the equipment is running. And, and so you do those on a regular basis, uh, and uh, so that would take, you know, about an hour while you do all your route. Process operator's job or a power engineer's job is a bit like a fireman's job. You have to know how to do the right things in the first five minutes because if you make a mess of that first five minutes, it could take you five hours, five days, or five weeks to recover from that. So part of what we do as far as training here is teaching people to do the right thing in the first five minutes. And, and that's what part of the power engineering training is doing, how they can recognize if they see a pressure gauge going up or there's an alarm coming in. Power engineering is not for everyone. Um, you have to have excellent, strong mathematics, chemistry, physics, thermodynamics skills. You have to have a willingness to work hard and work well in teams. You have to have excellent communication skills.